Hey y'all, we're here on the Atlantic Ocean in Falmouth, Massachusetts. Surrounding areas are Hyenas Port and Martha's Vineyard. And we're out here, well, I'm out here, True Parading, AKA Lisa Smith is out here. I'm gonna bring you some fish from the ocean to the frying pan, okay? I'll be back. some black sea bass and porgies but today we're gonna do stuffed porgies okay I covered up everything covered up my oven so I wouldn't get um, fish scales all over and these are the two things that I could use or that you could use to clean your fresh fish if you don't get it clean at the store I go fishing every year so um, deep sea fishing and um, this is what I do like I said, I'm gonna bring it from the ocean to your table. So this is how I clean my fish. I turn the water on. This is one way, if you don't have all the things that I have. And I go underwater and I take and go the opposite direction, see? Hope you can see that, yeah. I go the opposite direction. As long as it stays underwater, you don't have it popping everywhere, okay? Has to stay underwater. And I can use you can use a fork, but I do also have a fish scaler. And let's clean it just like this. Okay. Cut this water off so it doesn't get too high. And you keep it. You basically try to keep the fish underwater. But I also have something. I made it. it's genius <laughs> and this right here is what I made out of one of those covers um, that you get from your bed spreads so this is where I usually scale the fish right about here and I put my hands in and I leave the water running just a tad bit okay and I just go at it let me show you yeah, that way I can lift it up out of the water. Ouch. Scale got me. Yeah, get all up under here. Get around here, and then I do, do the other side. It's quicker this way to me. That way, I don't have to concentrate on keeping it under the water. It splashes right here. So let me turn this off a little so I can, so you can see what I'm doing and hear what I'm doing. See? I just try to, yeah, that way... If I do make a mistake and bring the fish up, it stays right here. Okay? And you scale it until it feels smooth. You'll be you rub it in the opposite direction and you'll be able to tell if it still scales on there because you go like that. Alright? Yeah, don't take that long to scale fish. You can use the fork, like I said, and go the opposite direction like this. And usually what I do is I take the fork over the under the bottom, because the fork really gets it really good. See? This is a tutorial for all you men and women and children out here who don't know how to clean fish. Somebody go fishing and give you fish, and you want them to clean it for you and cook it for you? Oh, no. Y'all gonna have to learn. You might be out camping and you catch fish and you go, ew, I don't want to clean it. Then you don't want to eat. That's all I'm saying. My mama taught me how to catch the fish and clean it. Her and my uh, brother. Yep. Shout out to my brother Clement. 
who he's passed on. He's from Antigua. Yep. And he also used to take me fishing too. I miss him so much. That's my play brother, you know. <laughs> I always used to call him my brother. Shout out to my other brothers too. So yeah, see? It's already done. Look at it. See there? Hardly any scales. Now, up here, I probably got a few scales, so I'm going to put that back up under here because I'm not going to cut the head off of this. I'm going to stuff this fish, and it's going to be so good. All right? That's it. See? Look. Look at there. Okay, let me hold it right. Hardly no scale. See? See how smooth? And it's smooth. You can rub it each way, and it's smooth. You can tell there's no scales on. Oh, there's some I missed right there. But you got the picture. So I'm going to finish cleaning this little one. It ain't going to take me no time. And um, yeah, we're going to have that. We're going to have stuff for these. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. We're back. Now we're going to split these babies open, gut them, and stuff them. All right. And I'm going to use none other than some stuff to mix right here. Nothing fan, you know, fancy schmancy. Um, and I'm going to do all of this in stages. So let me get um, some scissors. And uh, I'm going to try this new knife out. See if I can do something with this. Okay, hold on. I don't even know how to use it, y'all. It's something. Oh, yeah. There we go. Ooh, watch it go. All right, so now. I'm going to start here by splitting it open because this is where all the guts are, right here. You really don't have to split it no further than that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip these fins off so they don't jab at me because you have the fins underneath. Put it in this bag. I cleaned out all of the um, uh, garbage, the, the fins and the uh, shell, you know, this right here scales I didn't yeah you don't let that go you don't you try to let as less as possible go down your sink because you don't want it clogged up yeah now this right here oh I don't know what that is look like babies yeah look at it little hard things they're probably babies in the shells look like shells yeah they are shells yeah so yeah, you clean all this stuff out and I put it in the bag and put it in the freezer until I'm ready to take my trash out. That's what I do. Yeah, I don't mix it in with my regular trash. Yeah, and because we're stuffing this bad boy, I'm going to cut it open even more. Because I'm going to definitely need room. Yeah. Let's see. I'm going to do it on one side, though. See? See, I hollowed it out. Let me pour the water out. It's hollowed out right here. So I'm going to do it on this side because there's bone. Yeah. I'll leave it like that. Open it up like this. It's always an argument as to how you're supposed to do it, but I just get it done. This knife is really good. Where did I get this knife? I don't know. But I'm just trying to open this fish up more. So I can fit a lot of stuffing in here because I like mine stuffed to the max. Yeah. So. Cut this bone in here. So I can get past that. Yeah. All I'm doing is cutting the bone. Yeah, pork, they say people people say porgies have a lot of bones. Well, most of them have bones. Y'all just so spoiled. Y'all get it, uh, the bones taken out, but me, my mom said, you on an island somewhere, stranded, ain't nobody going to be there to clean your fish. She said, you better learn how to clean it yourself. Yep, that's what she said. So I'm trying to take all this mess out of here, all the guts, which may not be mess to other people. You know, but be careful of the bones and the fins because they will jab you. Yeah. So, 
trying to open that up even more to get some of this stuff out of here. Yeah, you can always cut the head off, pull the gills out and everything, but I'm not. I'm going to leave mine on this one. Yeah, I'm cutting the fins off. See, cutting these little side fins. I cut the bottom off. Um, I don't know if I want to cut this off because it might look good for presentation. I don't know. Yeah, better because it might poke me. I'm scared. These suckers is like dangerous right here. So I'm gonna cut this off too. Yeah, because it's a rib bone right here. So yeah, it's good to cut that off. And then, like like I said, when it's done, all you gotta do is just pull this up. And you get all meat. Porgies are very meaty. And they have a sweet, sweet taste to them, boy, I tell you. You mean, it's, it's, they, people want to say it's whiting. No, it ain't nothing like whiting. Whiting, to me, has no flavor. None whatsoever. But porgies, baby, they give you flavor. Yeah, so I'm getting most of what I can get out of here. And the rest, I'm going to cook and eat it. Shoot. You see what I did? I hollowed it out, got most of what I could get out of here, because I'm going to cook the whole thing. I ain't scared. All right, let's pour that off. All right, and I'm going to get the other one ready, and I'll be back. See? See what I did? Got to get out. That's a beautiful fish right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. I'll be back. I just wanted to show you all something. You see this? I got this out of the smaller fish. Or no, this came out of the big fish. But these are actually, some of them are shells, little shells that that probably are at the bottom. Let me show you. See? Wait a minute. Where's the camera? This way. Okay, they're actually shells. Some of them. Okay. And then some of them are stones. I found a lot of stones and some shells in the smaller fish that I had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Wait a minute. Here it is right here. See, this is what I found in the smaller fish. And this is a stone. This is a stone. And this is a small little not formed seashell. Isn't that something? Wow, a little small conch. Here's another one right here. Right there small stone I mean small shell so yeah and this came and it's stuck you can see they're all stuck in the belly of it right here see look this is the um, sack right here with the shells in it of their stomach in their stomach see yeah it's stuck in here oh this is a big one right here is this a stone or a shell oh no that's a stone let me try to get that one out there this is fresh oh no those are stones yeah but the little fish had a lot of stones in it this is what i pulled out of them so you know they're fresh okay now, i've never seen that well we hadn't been in a while well we didn't go for a year because of covid and we went back and i mean the fish were plentiful this is in um falmouth massachusetts near hyenas port martha's vineyard and all of that yeah, I love it there. So I'm going to clean my sink out. Oh, here's some more that fell in here. Yeah, I'm glad I did uh, feel down here. I'm going to clean this out, you guys, and I'm going to get back to you with the recipe. Okay? I'll be back. I just had to show you that. Okay, y'all. I'm about to put the stuffing mix on. Okay? But let me get my ingredients. As you know, I'm not there yet. But I like to have conversation as I get my ingredients together. And everybody knows this is a standard box of a uh, stuffing mix. And I'm using the whole wheat turkey. Okay? Yeah. So, and it calls for one and one half cup of water. I always, always use bottled water. So I'm going to put the half a cup in first. Okay, let's put it over the burner. Half a cup first. 
Okay. Then I'm going to put the one cup in of water. Okay. Now, um, then it says here to take one fourth cup of butter, which is a half a stick of butter. I ain't putting all that butter in there. That's too much. Because they say put all that stuff in there. Uh-uh. 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 No. Hey, I'll get, I'll, you know what I'll do? I'll put two piece, two um, tablespoons of butter. That's how I'll do that. And I'll put a little olive oil in there. I ain't putting all that butter in there. No way. That's too much. It's too much. And I got some uh, garlic olive oil too. You know, from my roasted garlic. <laughs> so I'll put two tablespoons of this in here. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, tablespoons. Come on now. Work with your girl. That's one tablespoon, two tablespoons. Yeah, here. See, I'll put this in here instead. I, this is the what I have my roasted garlic in. And if, of course, if you don't have um, if you don't have olive oil, you can always. I mean, if you don't have butter, yeah, you can always use olive oil. But I'm not gonna put all that butter in here. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. Okay, let me wipe this off. It's damn greasy, sticky. Every time y'all hear that little agitating sound, that's my cats playing with their little electronic fish that we bought, and they love it. <laughs> they love it. Okay. Now, we're going to let that bubble over, right? Let it come to a boil. Okay, and then it says... Once it comes to a boil, remove it from the heat. So we let it all melt. I ain't removing it until I put all this in here. And it's just one big old package in here, see? Remember it used to come with the seasoning on it? Well, they stopped all that. They said throw this one package in there and get it done. Get her done. Okay, so I'm going to turn it down some. I ain't going to remove it from the heat. Cut this open. that it's easy okay. these are simple meals and this is already seasoned so of course I'm not seasoning my fish all heavy no absolutely not because you got seasoning from this so I'm gonna go ahead and stir this around let it cool look at that can you see that Mm -hmm. this stuff now this is simple and I like the fact that it's um, whole wheat I didn't know it was whole wheat until I looked at it another item that I got from the food pantry during the pandemic so yeah mm -hmm. starting to use the stuff that I have so I don't waste it instead of going out shopping yeah that's what they were doing I ain't acting like I don't go to the pantry. This is pantry cooking for you. The only thing that's not pantry is the fish that I caught. Okay? Okay? Snatch it! <laughs> yes, I be fishing in these waters. Okay, now, I'm going to let that cool. I'm going to put a lid over it because you don't want no flies in it. Okay, take it off the burner. Wash up everything. And I'm going to come to you with some stuffed porgies. Okay, now, I have one scallion left. I have some mini peppers. I have some um, cilantro, and I have basil from my little plant. I have an onion, and I have some palm oil. And I have some of these. Yes, you know what these are. They're like wasabi, but they're hot mustard. And since I have so many, I'm going to use them. 
We're going to finish this off with some of that. Some fish oil. And some sweet. And sweet soy sauce. Okay. And a little bit of cornstarch. Watch, you know. Y'all, it's hot out there. It's gonna go inside my fish. Using what I got to get what I want, y'all. Just a little, because fish sauce got some salt in it. About six shakes of it. And I'm going to take about this. Yeah, because fish sauce in this is sweet and sour. So I'm going to pour that in there. Like that. Just going to give it a real nice flavor. I got an old ass onion, right? I'm gonna use this bad boy, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. See if I can get a sharper knife on this. but that's what I had in here and it's still juicy. <laughs> Watch me work, no. Yep. Squeeze some of this in here. Yeah, I got 
got some of those seeds in there. It's okay. these in there. Yeah. Yeah. Put that in there. Because this is all going inside the fish. Inside, outside, whatever side it goes in. And we're going to do this. Okay? Mix it all together. Now, this is the fish that we have. some of this mustard up. See this mustard? You know, the Chinese mustard that you have left over? Yeah. Mix some of that in there. That's Flavor Town right there, y'all. That's one pack. I'm going to taste it before I just put it in there. I ain't going to just willy-nilly put it in. Okay? That should be nice and hot. Now we need some um, pepper. Taste that fish sauce. Really good. Don't really need the cayenne. It's hot enough. And this is what I like to use too. This is all natural. Some kind of wonderful. I love this. Has no salt in it. Just regular old seasoning. Yeah. So. Mix that around. Okay. Then I'm going to bring the stuff in there. And what I'm going to do is take the, the vegetable medley that I have here. Oh, no. I'm sorry. You must score the fish. You got to score it. You got to score it. Okay? Let me show you how I'm going to score it. Okay, I'm gonna bring it up some. You're gonna score it like this. Yeah. Okay. You score it on this side. Because you want it to cook through. This is a pretty thick fish. Let me get this. I don't know how this one got in my daggone thing, but in there. Anyway, nonetheless, it's here. We're going to cook it. This must have been from two, three years ago. No. <laughs> Somebody threw that little one in there. They were, it was long enough at the time, and I maybe miscalculated. I'm going to bake that one hard, though. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this first. Open this up a little more. Open that cavity up in this little tiny one. I'm going to start putting this in here. Just stuffing it in. And putting some of this in. Make 
Make sure you get a little bit of everything in there. Yep. Just stuff it in. Like that. Okay. And you do the same for this one. Stuff it in there. A little bit of this goodness in there. Gave me an idea, so let me get the pan that I'm gonna put it on. So we can make this bad boy. Okay. Um. Okay. Now I'm gonna spray the pan with some canola. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch on it. Watch me, watch me work, no. Gotta get a spoon. Gotta get a spoon. You can always stuff this like this and freeze it until you're ready to use it. Okay? Yeah, I want to put some hurting on this. Put all this on top, like that. Hold on. I'm gonna lay these lemon pieces on top. Like this is, I'm just using whatever I have in my uh, in my pantry to get an end result. And I promise you, I'll tell you the truth on how it tastes. I know it's going to be funky because whatever I do is funky. Hey. Okay. Then the rest of this little medley that I have here, I'm going to just sprinkle it over it. Like this. Like that. Yeah. Make sure it gets all that goodness. Over the eyes. See, I, I, yeah. I eat all the fish. That's what we do. That's what my grandfather used to do with his Jamaican self. Okay. Now, my next stop is to, I'm going to spray it. I was going to use palm oil, which I still can. I'm going to, I'll spoon this a little bit on there. But I got to um, melt it down some for you. Okay. Let me melt some palm oil down. Real quick. Don't take long. Because palm oil gives it flavor too. I'm telling you right now, yo. I'm going to take about this much palm oil right here. See? That much. Put it in here. And I'm going to microwave it. Give that time to melt down. Put everything up. Yeah, you want to clean up as you go along, you guys. Clean up as you go along. Oh, it's taking me 15 minutes. Oh, and I'm going to put some cracked pepper over. Cracked pepper. And I'm going to put, um, I always put some, um, 
always like a little bit of um what do you call it um ginger here it is i was looking for it a little bit of a ginger flavor okay so yeah sprinkle some ginger over it like that and a little bit of um pink himalayan salt Not just any salt, pink Himalayan salt, okay? Now, we're going to put this in the oven, my caloric oven, air fryer oven. Let me get this all cleaned up, because y'all ain't going to be talking about my messy kitchen. <laughs> oh my God. I think I should, yeah, I'm going to leave it just like this. Mm, 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 mm. And then look what I'm going to do, I'm going to spray a little more. Oh, shit. Okay. Then I'm going to take this palm oil and drizzle it like this. See? That's going to give it nice, good flavor. The palm oil, baby, you don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know. Because, see, you don't know nothing about this. You don't know nothing about that, 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 that. Okay? Yeah, palm oil gives it flavor, too. Mm-hmm. Go all around it. So that palm oil can get all on it. This is an African American dish. I love palm oil. I don't. It just. Oh my god. It just gives you such good flavor. And I. And then you know, you can't go wrong with just a touch of adobo. Let me see that. Mm -hmm. Let's stand some adobo on it. Just one side. That's it. That's it. You don't need all of that, you guys. So now, I'm going to take my pan, move this over like so, okay, and I'm going to, let me see if you can see this, hold on, oh, shit, pick this up, so you can see, oops, drop something, and I'm going to put it in the oven, I hope I have it on the right, wait a minute, let me put it up some, so y'all can see. Hold up, I'm putting it in the oven. Now, I want to make sure I'm putting it on the right one because this is Royal Street um, right here. I'm just going to put it here, okay, for now. I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to start it, and I'm going to put it on, where is it? Air fry. Put it on air fry, and that way it gives me the fish. And then I'm gonna, it's, at, it's for 10 minutes at 375, okay? Start. And I'll be back in 10 minutes to show you the outcome. Hey y'all, I took it out the oven. It was done like in record time, I'll say about in 10 minutes, if that. Um, I put like maybe five more minutes on it and this is what it looks like, okay? So, I wonder how it tastes. Let's try it. We'll try the little one, okay? You can hear the oven going in the background. Let's try the little one. Look at that. See the flakiness? Let's try some of this. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yo, you taste everything in this. This is so delicious, see? Yeah, those are the um, lemons right here. These are the lemons. And, um, yeah, it's good. It's good. Didn't even take that long. This air fryer is the truth. Yeah. I'm going to put it in for about a few more minutes. About five more minutes. Because I want to make sure it's done. But that, um, what do you call it? The, um, not the flour, but the, uh, uh cornstarch gave it a nice little crust on it yeah so I'm gonna put it back in the oven all right and I'm gonna put it down lower this time all right hold on yeah okay 
So this is what I did. I put it back in and I added about 11 more minutes to it. So yeah, I'm gonna let it cook. Just gonna let it cook. All right. But so far it tastes good. Just try it. Put in what you like to put in, but definitely put the stuffing in. The stuffing is the star of the show. Let me show you what it looks like. See? That's what it looks like. Oh, my God. Let me open it up for you. Ooh. See what it looks like? Okay. I'm going to let it cook. And I'll be back. Okay. Now, to pair with my fish, I am going to pour milk and water in my corn. And it's no specific amount that you have to pour in there. But if you need measurements, I'm going to go ahead and pour. And this is um, milk that I got from the pantry, powdered milk. And I mix it up. And I made mine sort of like half and like 1% um, milk. Okay. So I'm pouring two cups. All right. And a half of milk. And I'm going to pour a little water in here. Like a half a cup of water, because I had that left over. Didn't want to waste it. Okay. And I'm going to add some butter. See, this is where I like to add my butter in my, um, in my corn. Let me turn it on. And this is going to be paired with the porgies that I made. Okay, so that little piece and I'm going to say about three tablespoons four tablespoons of butter okay that's what I'm putting in there yeah I had this in the freezer and I said oh we can have this with corn and let's go ahead and uh, season this bad boy okay I'm going to Put about about that much salt, and I'm gonna put some. First of all, oh pepper, cracked pepper, fresh cracked pepper. Got this from the pantry too. Yeah. Fresh cracked pepper. The corn I, I bought. I've had that in the freezer. But yeah, I'm telling you, you guys, you can get really get some really good things from the pantry. Don't sleep on the food pantry. I'm not ashamed. I'm telling you that right, right now, I'm not ashamed. Okay? So, I think we're going to need a little more. No, I think we'll leave it just like that. No, a little more water, I think. Let me get another bottle of water. Stop being cheap. Gotta have enough water to cover this corn, okay? So, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover this corn up, but at least it has that. So I'm gonna add a, a little more salt, about that much, okay? A little more cracked pepper. And we're gonna put a lid on it. Let it cook, all right? We'll be back with the plate. Hey y'all, I'm back. And this is my plate, okay? This is my stuffed fish with yellow corn, okay? And I put a little butter on this. Let me put a little more on there for you. Just for y'all, because y'all said, put some butter on it. So I'm going to put some more butter on it. Okay, and I know I don't, I don't like a lot of salt. Let me let me taste this right here. It's really good the way it is. Mhm. Mm Along with the butter, it's good the way it is. You don't need no salt. Okay, so now let me give an honest taste. Let me tear this open first. Okay, look at all this goodness you got here. See there? All this meat. Here's the bone. I gotta get a trash plate. Yeah. 
I'm gonna be honest, porgies has bones, but not to the point where you can't handle it. So, okay. Look at this. I'm gonna take this right here and pull this up. And there's that, that rib bone that I was telling you about, remember? Mmm. That's good. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mmm. I'm going to take a bite. My God. Guys, this is so good. This right here, this head, take it off because I'm going to save that for later. Yeah, y'all can't stand me eating that because <laughs> I eat it all. I eat it all. Okay. Yeah. See see how the, the bone comes up like this? I'm taking all this good meat off of here. Look at that. See? Yeah. It just comes apart. Porgies are not as bony as people think they are. It gives you meat. Okay. It gives you nothing but meat. You want to get all that meat off of there. Okay? Look at that. And there's your bone. Okay. And you have nothing but... Mmm. I'm telling you guys. Nothing but meat. I'm going to take a piece of this. Which one is? Mmm. Mmm. There's that crunchy part right here. Mmm. 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 I'll take a bite of this corn. And some stuffing. Mmm. 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 I'm telling you, the stuffing and the fish. It's, oh my God, it's a match made in heaven. Mmm. And look how, look how big these bones are, see? Don't tell me you can't eat this because it has bones. Don't be lazy. Mmm-hmm. I'm not a lazy eater. And I like fresh food. And this is as fresh as you're going to get it. Make some stuffing. And you can put more stuffing on your plate if you want. But I'm just showing you how you can stuff your fish. Okay? I squeeze some um, lemon over it. Mmm. I said it was onion in the beginning, but it was old lemon that I had, and I said, I'm going to use it. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is so good. Nothing but meat. And goodness. Another bite. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, man. We can't tell you how good this is. Again, this is truthful rating. Coming at you with another banging video. Try it. You'll like it. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye. I'm not going out like that. I am not going out like that. This is my dessert, my cupcakes that I made yesterday. The white pecan frosted cupcakes. And I also frosted some chocolate ones, but I gave them away. Okay, y'all, I hope you enjoyed my video today of my 
stuffed porgies with lemon and palm oil and peppers and all that other good stuff. Now I'm getting ready to dig into this. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at that, look at this, look at... Look, look, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I gotta go here and get some support. Because it's that thickum. Grab me a strawberry real quick. Like that, like that, like that, like that. And I'm gonna eat it. Mmm! Y'all, it's that. It's that cream cheese frosting. But, like, share, and subscribe. Okay? Thank you guys for supporting me.